We had this, um, we had a trial, interesting trial. This guy, Colin uh, Ferguson, was his name. He uh, uh, shot 19 people on a train one morning, gone away, you know, early rush hour. Police caught him, and his defense was pretty straightforward. You know, his defense was, you know, hey, I was angry. <laughs> you know, now I'm cool, I'm cooled off, you know. You can just let me go. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried. He tried that. You can just, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool. I got it out of my system and all that. You know, can I go now? <laughs> you know what I mean? They said, well, you know, not not without a trial. <laughs> we just, you know, we have to give you a trial. You know, bear with us. But we're gonna, we're gonna try your ass, okay? He said, well, can I be my own lawyer? Yeah, sure, right. Okay, they let him be his own lawyer. You know, nutty cat, cracked me up, man. He took it serious, though. <laughs> he would walk around there trying to look like a lawyer, too, boy. It's a spectacle, man. He was, you know, he'd be cross-examining people that he shot. <laughs> this is serious. So. You were shot, you say, eight times that day on the train. Is that true? Yes, I was shot eight times. Mm -hmm. Did you count the shots? No, I did not count the shots. Oh, you didn't count the shots. Let the record show. He didn't count the shots. So how do you know you were shot eight times? Because I have uh, eight bullet holes in me. <laughs> I see. So you could have actually been shot at more times than that. <laughs> you just know that you were hit eight times. I see. Is it possible for you to identify for the court the person who shot you that day on the train? It was you, motherfucker, you. You shot me. And he returned to the judge. I'd like to have that stricken from the record. And I want the jury to be told to disregard that. Yeah, and the judge would just be looking at it. Right? And then the picture would start shaking because the cameramen were laughing. <laughs> yeah, so you have to wait for the picture to get back. <laughs> it's just a joke, man. Then you should have seen the day that they brought the gun into the courtroom. Oh, man. He got excited that day as the, as the gun went by. He just said, uh, can I hold it, Your Honor? <laughs> you know, like saying nice, being and saying real nice was gonna say, oh, you know, he went, please, can I, can I hold the gun? You know, judge went, fuck no. <laughs> you know, they had to bleep that. All right. Then he said, but the, you let the prosecutor hold the gun. I see. Let the record show <laughs> that the prosecuting attorney has been allowed to hold and point the gun, but I have not been allowed to hold or point the gun. Okay, and he duly noted that, right? When the day came where he had this you know, he talked to the jury, his final argument to the jury, you know, and he was ready that day, and he walked up. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I have been charged with 93 counts of attempted murder. And do you know why? Only because it happened in the year 1993. They like 
to match numbers. <laughs> yes. Have you noticed that the prosecutor has been allowed to handle the gun? <laughs> Does anybody know where that prosecutor was that day? <laughs> Think about that. Where was the prosecutor that morning? He's pretty good with that gun, isn't he? <laughs> yes, think about that. So look in your hearts and please find me not guilty. Because if you do, I will be very, very happy. <laughs> and he sat down, man, and a fucking picture shook for 15 minutes. <laughs> I had pictures of the judge just howling. <laughs> just kept shaking, man, fucking shook and shook. Finally it stopped, you know, and the jury, you know, the foreman and the jury said, Your Honor, uh, you know, I think I speak for the whole jury when I ask, you know, do we even have to, uh, you know, leave the room to make this decision? <laughs> Judge said, well, I tell you what, just uh, walk to that door, touch it, and walk back. <laughs> Should all of us touch it or adjust the foreman? <laughs> hmm, I tell you what, the guy sitting really at the end, you just reach out and you touch it, all of your whole hands while he touches the door. <laughs> and I think that that'll get through an appeals court. <laughs> So they found him guilty, of course. You know, gave him 240 years, okay? You know, he's, he's still in jail, you know, talking crazy. Every now and then he says, you know what? I want to see my lawyer. <laughs> and they say, you know, here's a mirror. <laughs> and he sits in there, yeah, so, you know, how come I haven't heard from you? 